My lack of faith hampers God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for April the 3rd, 2022, according to St. Mark. Then one of the crowd answered and said, Teacher, I brought you my son, who has a mute spirit, and whether, wherever it sees him, it throws him down, he foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, and becomes rigid. So I spoke to your disciples that they should cast it out, but they were not strong enough. He answered him and said, O oh, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him to me. Then they brought him to him, and when he saw him, immediately the spirit convulsed him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed, foaming at the mouth. So he asked his father, How long has this been happening to him? And he said, From childhood. And often he has thrown him both into fire and into water to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Immediately the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help my own belief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, Deaf and dumb spirit, I command you, come out of him and enter him no more. Then the spirit cried out, convulsed him greatly, and came out of him. And he became as one dead, so that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could we not cast him out? So he said to them, This kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. Then they departed from there and passed through Galilee, and he did not want anyone to know it. For he taught his disciples and said to them, The Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of men, and they will kill him, and after he is killed, he will raise the third day. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. The Lord calls this man unfaithful generation. Those words are very strong. But even worse is the effect of the unfaithfulness of the lack of faith that creates to us. I entitled my meditation to my lack of faith hampers God. Can anything actually hamper God? Not at all. He's omnipotent, meaning he can do anything he wants. But he created you and me free. And he will not override our freedom. He will not destroy your freedom or mine. So just think about what a tragedy it is. Imagine that you have a young child that is even dying. And then you turn to God half-heartedly and say, Lord, if you can, please help him. You are denying your son and God to heal him because you're doubting. And when we doubt, we basically are telling God, don't do it. I don't think that you can. That is why it is so important that we trust God with all our hearts. Then we would receive, if we were to turn to to him with all our hearts, with all our life, with all our mind, ever, then we would receive a lot of blessings from Him. But we need to turn to Him. Just imagine how much we need to trust Him, especially as we approach the Holy Pascha, and we need to be changed and cleansed, and we need to trust that He has the ability. Now, it doesn't mean that we will have this unlimited power to do whatever we want, but rather that we will have this unlimited trust in God and let Him do on us as He wants, which is absolutely the best possible solution for each one of us, that we might trust Him and let Him do on us as He loves us and wants us and knows the best. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.